Question 11.107 says calculate the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide for a solution with each of the following pH values. So if I take a look at A, I'm given a pH equal to 3.00 and I want to know what the concentration of hydronium is. So you may remember the formula from my last video, pH is equal to minus log times the concentration of hydronium. Well, we can rearrange this formula and solve for the concentration of hydronium. Therefore, hydronium concentration is going to be equal to 10 to the negative of our pH value. So if we plug in the number 3.00, we get 10 to the negative 3.00, and we find out that our concentration of hydronium, when we put that into our calculator, is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Then we can use the formula, so that's the first part of our question. Then we can use the formula KW, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Oops, negative 14, if you can see it there, 14. Is uh, equal to the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide. Let me fix this up here. So rearranging this formula, I get that the concentration of hydroxide is going to be equal to Kw divided by the concentration of my hydronium. So I put 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Of course, this is a constant divided by my 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3. And I end up with the concentration of hydroxide, which is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11 molar. So that's, again, equal, equal to my hydroxide concentration. So we'll put that in here. Then for part B, so for part B, I'm given a pH is a pH value of 6.2. So I'm going to employ the exact same strategy, except now in my pH value, I only have one decimal place. That means I'm going to put, report my concentrations to one sig fig only. Whereas here I had two decimal places, and that's why I reported both of them to two sig figs and two sig figs here. So let's take a look. So if my pH is equal to 6.2, I'm going to punch in using the same formula I did in part A, that the concentration of hydronium is going to be equal to 10 to the negative 6.2, and that equals 6 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. And again, that's equal to my concentration of hydronium. There we go. Again, one sig fig because I have only one decimal place in my pH value. Similarly, I can put in that the concentration of my hydroxide is going to be equal to Kw divided by the concentration of my hydronium. So I put in the value for Kw, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. It's a good idea to memorize that number divided by 6 times 10 to the negative 7. Now when I punch that in my calculator, I get 1.66 something, but that's going to round up, that will round up to 2 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. So, there you go. That's how to calculate the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide when, uh, when you're given a pH value. And I think the main thing to look out for here are the numbers of significant figures in your pH values, uh, or sorry, in the decimal places of your pH values and the number of significant figures in your concentrations. I hope you find this helpful.